choice, a bit of a difficult one for me. Uh, it does involve people I know, and it's, uh, it's a TV programme that's a bit of a sacred cow. We'll play the credits, and we'll see what the reaction from the audience is. Mm. <laughs> You've chosen Have I Got News For You. The floor is yours, sir. Well, I mean, I only think of... When I watch Have I Got News For You, it kind of reminds me of my days in the schoolyard. Mm -hmm. Because I always think... I mean, we leave Angus out of this for the moment. <laughs> but I always think the other two, whose names escape me for the moment, they remind me of fellas from the lower sixth <laughs> who'd hang around together in their own little group in the schoolyard. Mm -hmm. They were never quite clever enough to get first in class. They <laughs> never <laughs> quite made the football team and they <laughs> never got the girl they wanted. <laughs> so they used to go around the schoolyard Sneering at everybody else. <laughs> and that's what that reminds me of. Mm. And again, in both their cases, I think you'll find that their eyebrows meet in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> or if their eyebrows don't meet in the middle, Angus Deaton does. What meets their eyebrows and in the, the reason, middle? And the reason he's included is that I remember him on Room 101 picking out Radio 2. Ah! <laughs> Suddenly the agenda becomes clear, sir. Yes, all right, it's naked revenge. Yeah. I, like you know, the, I like the other two. It's deep and I can't stand. I mean, all I'd say is people, people think that it's all prepared, and, and it isn't prepared, and I've been on that programme, you know, and, and they think, you know... Oh, I never thought it was prepared. It was no, no, completely no, no. unprepared. But there are tricks. <laughs> I'm willing to admit there are tricks you can learn, and uh, I'm willing to hold up my hands. <laughs> if you have a look at this, you'll see this is one of the ways to make your way uh, on Have I Got News For You if you're on there more than once. <laughs> Nick, uh, four British institutions for you. Uh, Michael Fish, Oliver Reed, <laughs> Tony Adams, Captain of Arsenal, and Patrick Nichols, MP. Um, well, it's got to be Tony Adams, hasn't it? Because all the other three understand the offside law. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, uh, spot the subtle connection here. Jerry Adams, Douglas Adams, Richard Adams, <laughs> and Tony... Adams. It's got to be Tony Adams, isn't it? Because all the other three understand the offside law. <laughs> now, I just want to say... No, no, it's good. It's good that you showed that. ...that during those two years, the offside law changed, so it's a different joke. <laughs> it's a completely different joke. It's good that you showed that. Yeah. I'm not going to let this in, I don't think, because... Because... Because you're a trawler. Because, you're, because a, you're afraid I, they'll pick on you. I'm willing to admit that Angus and I have our yachts moored in the same East Harbour. <laughs> but also because we actually did take it to the public, went and did some Vox Pops, and I think you'll find that in the way that uh, Have I Got News For You is not fixed, also this poll is not fixed. This is what the members of the Great British Public said. Bless them. <laughs> have I Got News For You? I haven't seen it for ages. Excellent. Yeah? yeah. What do you think of the presenter? Angus Dayton. I think it's brilliant. Angus Staten's the perfect host for it. Never heard of it. Oh, it's an appalling programme. <laughs> uh, he's a bit smarmy, isn't he? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a fantastic programme. <laughs> Do you like the presenter? Mmm, top notch. <laughs> QED, I'm afraid. Well, just a minute. Yeah. Just a minute. That last man was swampy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm afraid they said you're going to have to take something back with you, and it's a. Uh... A rather fine, have I got news for you, chequebook and pen. Have you got one of those? Have I got one of these? I bet you've got a back Oh, one. I've got one of these. The old blankety blank chequebook and pen. Very nice, ill cut cardboard. <laughs> I shall treasure it always. Thank I'm you sorry man. about that one, but you've done, you've done very well I'm so far. I'm only too pleased that you, you excluded them, Egypts as they are. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Terry Wogan. Thank you.